I hear your intake of breath and I see that you recognize the people on screen. Well, this is Susan Boyle, the dowdy middle-aged lady who actually became an overnight singing sensation when she participated in Britain's Got Talent. Even though she didn't win the competition, her whole life got transformed and she became a superstar who managed to fulfill her lifelong dream of performing professionally. So what does Susan Ball have to do with my research and my idea about teachers who use drama in the classroom? Well, I think that many students in Singapore, just like Susan Ball, are often overlooked in our education system because they don't fit into the particular mold of what it means to be a good learner. Like Susan Ball, who doesn't fit the mold of what it means to be a superstar, neither do our students fit that mold of what we perceive to be a good learner. In Singapore especially, with the emphasis on examinations and how our teachers have to cram a huge curriculum within a short period of time, many students are often neglected. Yet we know that students have diverse learning styles, different learning needs, and when teachers use traditional teacher-centric models like classroom, whiteboard teaching, or chalk and talk methods, these students are often lost. Hence, I believe in creative and alternative teaching pedagogies like drama and education, which can help engage our learners more effectively. My research is a qualitative research that has a two-pronged approach. First, I look at the perspectives of teachers who dare to use these different methods in their classrooms. I want to understand how they think, what they think, what do they believe about drama. And then I want to look at their practice. How do they translate these beliefs into action in their own classroom? Let me illustrate by sharing with you a pilot study that I ran recently where I went into a, teacher, uh, te each, into a teacher's classroom who used drama in her mathematics class. This teacher, through my interviews with her, shared with me how she believed that drama was more than just about theatre and acting. Drama was about a framework, providing a framework for students where they could engage in the mathematics, the theoretical concepts in a real-life manner. Then this would allow for authentic learning, a situated learning that would enable her students to better understand the real-world applications of mathematics. When I entered her classrooms for lesson observations, I saw learners who were engaged, learners who were interested, and learners who are good learners. So, would Simon Cow win a teaching award? Maybe, but probably not. Yet, I believe that as a teacher, we have the responsibility to learn from him, to begin to see the talent in our students, and to give the Susan Balls of our education system an opportunity to shine and fulfill their greatest potential. Thank you.